Hi, my name is Monty and welcome to my messy garage. It's the end of the season, of the biking season, and I've had lots of fun this summer. I've done about 1,500 kilometers on my trusty old bicycle here, but I'm in Canada and unfortunately at the end of the season, which is usually at mid-fall, your bike's not going to be used for about six months. So the rest of the year, if you don't do things right, you could be tripping over in your garage all winter long. So we need to find a way of getting our bikes to basically disappear for six months. So in view of that, I decided to come up with an idea that I think is fairly clever and works very well for me. I call it the bike trapeze, and it's really quite simple. At the end of the season, you simply Put your bikes on the trapeze. I also include my bike carrier because I want to see it disappear for six months as well. I don't need it to, in the middle of the winter. And out of materials that I found around my shop here, and with only about four dollars invested, I came up with this idea. You simply tie it off the side here. That's good for now. That works pretty well. It uh, again, it was made out of materials that I had lying around. I've got virtually no money invested in it, and it just seems to work really well. The uh, uh, important thing is to have it properly legged into your rafters. There's a lot of weight there. I have three bicycles on there. It can handle up to six. And uh, you want to make sure that your roof is able to handle the weight of that. So that, that requires lighting into a couple of different rafters and making sure that the weight is properly taken up there. I use 5 16 leg screws, uh, four inches long. And I think that's just exactly what is required. So it works well, very low cost. And it's much simpler than other systems that require you to lift the bike up and carry it over your head, especially if you have 11 foot ceilings as I do. So um, you can put skis up there, you can put other things up there. I put safeties on the end so if the bikes ever came this way, they wouldn't fall off the rack. And really, it's just a, an ideal system in so many ways. Uh, I've got a lot of height here. It's roughly seven feet to here, or slightly more than, and that to me is uh, much room, much more than I perhaps I need. I can get around here, I can get the car in and out of the garage here as well. It's not obstructing anything. Um, if you really wanted to, you know, to use it for a daily system, you could. However, I think I would recommend that if you're going to be lifting this up and down uh, frequently, simply an electric winch or a boat, well, a boat winch would work very well here too. And it would make a little easier task out of the heaving. On a once a year or twice a year uh, pull, it's not a big deal. But I wouldn't want to necessarily crank this thing up and down every day. That might be a bit challenging. The, uh, the actual carriage itself is definitely over-engineered. It's heavier than it needs to be. On a one-shot deal, that, this is fine. But for a commercial product, which it, which it is not, um, I would propose making it out of different materials that would make it lighter so you're not carrying so much of that carriage weight up and down. The block and tackle was a, an item that I had in my garage and I've owned for a number of years. So. Anyways, just thought I'd share that with everybody in case other people want to do a similar idea. But it sure works for me, and I'm delighted that, uh, that the idea worked out as, as well as it did. And now I'm not tripping over my bicycles anymore. Thank you very much.